distance in between their centers. That is F directly proportional to 1 by R square or F is inversely proportional to R square. Then <coughs> that equation 1 and that is equation 2, that equation 1 and 2 which are written in the combined form means from equation that is 1 and 2 we get that F is directly proportional to R1, R2 divided by R square. Then this equation which is written or simplified that is F is equal to Z M1 M2 by R square. And that is the required expression for that force of attraction between any two bodies, they are attracted with a force F. Then by using such formula, we have to determine the force of attraction in any two bodies in the universe. We are in this formula, G is the gravitational constant and that gravitational constant which is also known as the universal gravitational constant and that universal gravitational constant it is also defined as the force of attraction between the two unit masses separated at a unit distance that is the force of attraction between two unit masses which are separated at a unit distance then according to the that Newton's law of gravitation then we have to determine the that value or expression for the gravitational constant then according to this law according to Newton's law that is F is equal to G cap suppose M1 M2 divided by R square but this equation we have to simplify that is F into R square is equal to G M1 M2 <coughs> then G is equal to F into R square divided by M1 M2 that is the required expressions for the that universal gravitational constant then Again, we have to determine the <coughs> unit and dimension of this universal gravitational constant. According to this, unit of capital G or universal gravitational constant, then that unit of G is equal to that is unit of F into that is unit of R square divided by unit of M1 into unit of M2. Then unit of force is Newton and which is denoted by capital M then unit of R means R is the distance in between that any two bodies and that distance which are measured in meter square. Then unit of M1 and unit of M2 we are M1 is the mass of the first body and the unit of mass is Kz and unit of M2 is also Kz then unit of G is Newton meter square per Kg square that is the unit of 
that capital Z or universal gravitational equality. Here, again, we have to determine the dimension, dimension of capital G. Then we have to know in eleventh class that how to determine the dimension of any physical quantities. For determination, for determination of dimension of any physical quantity, we have to know the rules of that dimension of any physical quantity. Then according to this, that is dimension of G is equal to that is dimension of F into dimension of R square upon dimension of F1 into dimension of F2. Then that dimension of F is dimension of F is in square bracket F1 L1 T minus 2 and dimension of R means that is distance is L0, L2 and T0. Then dimension of mass that is M1, L0, T0 and dimension of the MP is M1, L0, T0. Then we have to simplify this equation and finally determine the dimension of the capital G that is M1, L3, T minus 2 upon that is M1, M2, L0, T0 and that is equal to that is M minus 1, L cube, T minus 2 is the dimension of the that capital C. Then we have to know that that capital Z, the value of capital G which are useful for solving the number of problems on this topic that is G is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. That is the value of capital C. That is the value of capital Z. Then after that we have to see the next article that is gravity. Then again questions in our mind arise the that is what is mean by the that gravity. That gravity is nothing but it is the force of attraction exerted by the earth on the body is called as the gravity and which is also known as weight of the body. Then this weight of gravity means the force of attraction exerted by the power on a body is known as gravity or weight then unit of the that gravity. Gravity is nothing but it is the contents of the force so that it is expressed by Newtons and which is denoted by that is capital Y. That unit is in MKS system and in CGS system that is dying is the that unit of this gravity in CGS system. Then its dimension is M1, M1, L1, T minus 2 is its dimension that is the gravity that gravity is a vector quantity and it is directed 
toward the center of the earth. Then after that, we have to see the acceleration due to gravity and that acceleration due to gravity which is denoted by small z then it is also defined as that gravity is the constant acceleration produced in the body when it fall freely under the effect of gravity is called as the acceleration due to gravity that acceleration due to gravity is nothing but the constant acceleration produced in the body when fall freely under the effect of gravity is called as the acceleration due to gravity that its unit is that is meter per second square in m k s t and centimeter per second square in c z s t that the dimension of the acceleration due to gravity is that is m zero l one and t minus two is its dimension that this acceleration due to gravity having the value that is g is equal to nine point eight meter per second square in mks and g is equal to nine hundred eighteen centimeter per second square in cgs system that is the values of that acceleration due to gravity then this value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth is the remains constant it is said at all the surface of the earth that is 9.8 meter per second square the value of small g decreases above and below the surface of earth then it is zero at the center of the earth and that point where the acceleration due to gravity become zero that point is known as the zero gravity conditions and at the zero gravity conditions the any body which feel the weightlessness that is at the weightlessness we are any body which feel the weightlessness that is the gravity that after that then we have to determine the expressions for the that acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth and at the height above the surface of the earth for that we have to consider for that we have to consider the any body having a mass small y consider the any body having a mass small y and which are placed on the surface of earth let us capital r be the radius of earth and capital y be the mass of earth again consider uh, any body of mass small m which are placed on the surface of earth let capital m be the mass of earth and 
कैपिटल आर बी द रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ देन वी हैव टू अप्लाई द न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन ऑन दिस बॉडी वी आर इट कैन प्लेस ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ लेट अस f is equal to f is equal to g capital y small y upon r square that is the force exerted by the power on the body according to the that newton's law of gravitation but according to the newton's law of motion that body which feel the weight means that amount of force which are acted on that body by the earth that is the weight of the body means f is equal to mg and that is equations 2 then from equations that is from equations 1 and 2 we get Yf is equal to yf means yam g is equal to g capital yam small yam divided by r square. We are small yam small yam get cancel and g is equal to capital g capital yam by r square. That is the solution due to gravity on the surface of earth. We are Capital G is the gravitational constant. Capital M is the mass of the earth, and capital R is the that radius of the earth. Let us we have to determine the value of that small g at height h above the surface of earth. Let us we have to consider. Again, the any body which are at height yet above the surface of Earth. Consider the any body of mass capital M which are placed above the surface of Earth at height yet. Let M be the mass of the Earth. Small m is the mass of the that body. <coughs> Then again apply the Newton's law of gravitation on this body. Then according to <coughs> Newton's law of gravitation, the force exerted by Earth on this body is y is equal to g capital y small m. Divided by r plus y, that is we are we are y be the height of the acceleration due to gravity at height y. For that we have to consider the any body of mass or y which are placed at height y above the surface of earth. Let us capital R be the Radius of the earth and capital M is the mass of the earth. Then, according to the Newton's law of gravitation, the force exerted in between them is y is equal to capital G capital M small m divided by r plus y is equal to h square. We are h be the height of that body from the surface of the earth. Then, according to according to Newton's law. According to Newton's law, f is equal to y g h. Then compare this to equation that is equation one and equation two. We get y g h is equal to g capital y small y. Upon r plus y bracket square. We are small m small m get cancelled, and 
Z, H is equal to Z, capital M upon R plus H brackets. That is the required expression for the oscillation due to gravity at the height H. Then we have to determine the relation in between that oscillation due to gravity at height H on on the surface of earth then let us we have to know that the oscillation due to gravity on any body on the surface of earth that is Z is equal to Z capital M upon R square that is equation 1 but oscillation due to gravity at height h above the surface of earth is that is z y upon r plus h in bracket square that is equation 2 and then divide equation 1 by 2 divides equation 1 by 2 we get that is G H upon G is equal to that is Z capital M upon R plus H in bracket square divided by that is Z capital M upon R square. Then simplify this equation that is G by G H by Z is equal to G capital M upon R plus H bracket square into that is R square divided by Z M then G M G M get cancelled and G H by Z is equal to R square upon R plus H bracket square in another way it can be written as gh by z is equal to r upon r plus h bracket square then find the value of gh that is gh is equal to that is r upon r plus h bracket square into small z that is the relation in between that G H and G that is oscillation due to gravity at height H and uh, on the surface of the earth that is the oscillation due to gravity then we have to see the another Articles that is settle our heat. 